A lot of people say, I look like Donald Trump, and I said, no, I'm much better looking than Donald Trump, right? I'm more handsome, I'm more orange, I have better hair than Donald Trump, I have much better hair, thicker hair, it's thick, and I have a tremendous physique, you know, because Tootsie Warhol, I have an incredible body, right? And this is, this is from Bed Bath & Beyond, this is a pillow, right? This is a great pillow, and uh, Donald Trump, he wishes he looked like me, right? My name is Tootsie Warhol, but I am a feminist, and I want to thank all of the tremendous women. We have great women here. The best women in New York City. They're unbelievable. I'm an artist and an activist, but for nine years I was uh, an attorney, uh, so it's pretty different to be an artist and activist full time. Uh, I, I used to work with victims of domestic violence. I advocated on their behalf and I was an assistant district attorney uh, in Brooklyn. After I was uh, an assistant district attorney, I worked at a law firm in Midtown and uh, a lot of the work that I was doing was civil rights pro bono work for voting rights groups, including one which was founded by Martin Luther King Jr. And my work with that, with that group, um, it brought me to uh, Miami. I registered the whole Miami Dolphins team to vote with Martin Luther King III. They, were, they became the first team ever that had all of the players registered. But it also brought me to Trump Tower. Uh, it was the week that Trump was inaugurated in January of 2017 and I went on Martin Luther King Jr. Day uh, 2017 so he that was a Monday and Trump was inaugurated on Friday and I met with him and Omarosa uh, for over an hour in Trump Tower and we were there to discuss voter suppression and voter ID and I went into that meeting skeptical but I left uh, shattered. Uh, I had no confidence that he was looking to do anything to help people to vote um, and uh, and it made me want to do more and I never believed the Andy Warhol quote that in the future everyone will be famous for 15 minutes until that day when I really did become famous for 15 minutes because I was on the front page New York Times digital shaking hands with Donald Trump and I was on every morning news show coming out of the elevator and shaking hands with Donald Trump. And I had never oh, no, done just a, a Trump impression. Uh, I, I, I had no training in uh, performance or I really don't do good impressions of anybody. Uh, but when after that meeting, everybody said, that was crazy. How did you meet with him? What happened? What was it like? And I just started doing the voice. I really think that when I met with him, when I shook his hand, he gave me the voice, this, this what we call the beast. And when Donald Trump loses on November 3rd, he's gonna be known as the biggest loser in the history of the Donald Trump is the first president in over 100 years to not have a dog in the White House. It's true, all the presidents, they love to have a dog in the White House and it's a great honor, they call it the first dog. And Donald Trump has never had a dog in the White House because he would never love a beautiful little creature like little Stormy Daniels. <laughs> and this whole journey that I've gone on from lawyer to artist and activist uh, and street performer is really a journey of redemption, a self-redemption for meeting with Donald Trump, for being photographed with Donald Trump, and in recognition that I had to do more to stop him in 2020.